sunshine it's me Harriet doing the video today and Lisa's behind the camera filming and she's put together this little video for us today and we've got Pauline in the studio who's packing all your lovely orders thank you so much for all your orders it means the world to me and the rest of team sunshine so today's video is going to be looking at some fabric and pattern pairings for beginner sewers so even if you're not a beginner these projects will be a really nice fast um, make which will be really satisfying sewing because it will come together really quickly um, but if you are new, new to sewing then this is a really good video for you to watch because it will give you some ideas around some tops and trousers you can make when you're new to sewing now um, my advice to you guys is that actually a lot of the indie pattern companies really hold your hand through sewing any of their projects so just go for it take your time um, the secret is always making sure that you pick the right type of fabric to go with the pattern so hopefully this will give you some ideas and give you the confidence to give it a go and yeah enjoy and we'll get to show you the fabrics now so the first fabric i'm going to show you today is a cotton poplin so with cotton poplins they do have a little bit of drape to them but they're quite a structured fabric so they're not going to slip everywhere when you're sewing so they're a really good fabric to choose when you're new to sewing or like I said if you're an experienced seamstress then, and you want a quick and easy make something like a cotton poplin is a really good option this cotton poplin is so beautiful covered in this really bright colourful tropical floral design and it is actually an ex-designer um, fabric it was originally used by a high street brand so we thought this would be a lovely um, fabric to wear during the spring summer months and you could make yourself a really cool top with it and the top pattern we thought would be great is the cello by closet core patterns now this is a really beginner friendly pattern and closet core patterns instructions are um, really really thorough and their blogs really good as well so if there was anything that you got stuck on then it, you definitely find the answer to any problems throughout your sewing but actually I think you'd find it a really simple quick and easy sew and you'll get a beautiful top at the end of it so this is a really beautiful fabric for you and it's one of our cotton tanner lawns from Liberty so it's a really luxurious feeling cotton fabric now it is still beginner friendly because it's quite a stable fabric so it's going to be quite a simple one to sew with it's not going to stretch out of place it's going to be quite a simple one to cut out with as well um, and it we just really love this print with the pink background and then this really fun floral design with the orange with the yellow sorry and the greens and the blues it's just really really pretty now we thought it would be great for again for a top but we wanted to choose a top pattern that didn't have any um, sections to it so it didn't break up the print in any way and the top we thought of was the Ogden Cami now this is a really popular pattern in the sewing community so many of you have made it it's a lovely cami top and it's a great one to pair with trousers or skirts or even little shorts as well it's a really good versatile spring summer um, top and also what's great about it is it doesn't actually require that much fabric so obviously with our with Tanner cotton lawns from Liberty they are a little bit more on the expensive side but you don't need that much fabric so you could get away with making it with just I think it's a meter or a meter and a half depending on the size band you're going for um, but yeah it would make a beautiful top and it would be a nice quick satisfying make and a great one if you're new to sewing so this is another cotton tanner lawn from Liberty for you but this is actually um, one of their dead stocks so it's from an old collection of theirs and we bought the last of what they had in production so this colorway is not going to be reprinted or anything so once this is gone we won't be able to get it again it's a really beautiful floral design all over it but if you look really closely it's actually got the flowers are like little stars throughout it so it's very very pretty really fun nice colors and like I said with the last one it does have some drape to it but because it's a hundred percent cotton it's actually quite a nice structured fabric so really good when you're new to sewing and we thought this would work 
really well made up into some pyjama trousers. And the pattern we decided to pair with it today is the Jamie Pyjama Trousers by Tilly and the Buttons. Now another reason why we wanted to include this pattern in this video is it's a really good one for beginner sewers and it has been drafted for extra small sizes so it is for like teenagers or pre-teens so if you've got like um, a family member or a friend who's younger and they're looking to start sewing this is a really good option for them um, and they'll be able to make themselves a really nice pair of pyjama trousers and because it's in this cotton lawn they'll be nice and lightweight for the spring summer when it's a bit hot and you could just pair it with like a ready to wear little simple t-shirt that you, she or he might have in the wardrobe. So we've got these beautiful yarn dyed ginghams in stock. We've also got some stripes as well. Um, but we're a massive fan of gingham here at Sew Me Sunshine. We love them. Really nice fabric to wear during the spring summer months. And it's 100% cotton, so really breathable. Now, the weight of them is similar to a poplin. So they are have like a quite structured feel to them. They do have a little bit of drape, um, but they're not going to stretch out in your sewing machine and it's going to be um, quite easy to cut them out as well. So again, a really nice beginner friendly fabric. And we thought this would make an amazing, just a simple tee. And one of our favorite t-shirt patterns that is just a nice, quick, easy sew is the Scout Tee by Grainline Studio. It's a really good, like I said, a simple t-shirt pattern. It's been used in the sewing community for a long, long, long time. It's a popular one that lots of people pick out time and time again. It's a really good staple t-shirt and a really great one to choose if you're new to sewing or if you're experienced, it'll be a really nice, quick, satisfying sew. So the next fabric I've got to show you is one of our cotton linen blends. So it is 55% linen to 45% cotton. We have this fabric in so many different colours. Um, we have a selection of bright colours all the way down to more your neutral um, palettes. So if there's a specific colour you're looking for, head on over to the website and I'm sure we've got it. We're always restocking them. It's a really lovely fabric um, to sew with. So it's quite a stable fabric. It's not too drapey. So again, a really great one if you're new to sewing. It'd be a dream to cut out with and a dream to sew with and it would be great for so many different garments. So you could make yourself like a little boxy tee, you could make yourself um, a shift dress with it as well, but what we wanted to show you today, if you're a beginner and you're looking to make some trousers, we wanted to show you a trouser pattern. Now this fabric would be great for sewing trousers, and the pattern we thought would be a really great pairing if you're a beginner, is the Miller Trousers by Paper Theory. Now this version has an elasticated waist and what Tara, the uh, person behind Paper Theory says is if you're new to sewing, a beginner, then the elasticated waist just makes the whole fitting process a lot um, easier and simpler. So that option would be a really great one if you're new to sewing. So we just thought a nice simple elasticated waist trouser like the Miller trousers would be great in this cotton linen fabric. Again perfect if you're experienced it'd be a nice quick satisfying sew a great one to throw into the suitcase if you're going on holiday um, but then if you're also a beginner it'd be a really nice intro into making your own trousers so the last fabric i'm going to show you is actually a cotton jersey now it's quite a common thing you'll hear is that a jersey fabric you shouldn't sew with if you're new to sewing now i don't think that's true um, you can definitely sew with jersey even if you're new to sewing. It's just about making sure you choose the right stitch and also making sure that you're using a jersey needle in your machine. And with our cotton jerseys, they're actually quite a stable jersey. They're not too drapey. So again, it wouldn't be too difficult to cut them out or to sew with them. And a bit like the cotton linens, we've called these our Maria cotton jerseys and they're our staple core range at Sew Me Sunshine. So we've got a load of different colors for you and we're always restocking them. Now the pattern that I wanted to pair this for you guys is, is the Agnes T 
tea by tilling the buttons. Now tilling the buttons um, instructions are really beginner friendly because they really hold your hand throughout the hot, each process. So it's great if you're new to sewing, with, sewing. And also as well, they've got a really good blog which then gives even more details. So this pattern would be able to really hold your hand if you're new to sewing with jersey fabrics. It will give you advice on what kind of stitch to use on your sewing machine. Like another common um, mistake is that people think that they need an overlocker to sew with jersey. You don't, you can use a normal sewing machine. So this pattern would be a really nice introduction into sewing jersey fabrics and it will give you the confidence as well to try different projects. Um, and again, for the experienced seamstress, the Agnes here is just a really nice, quick, really satisfying sew because it's so quick and easy and it's a great one to use up um, your jersey fabrics that you might have and then you can pair them with maybe go for a plane and then pair with a more kind of patterned trouser or skirt or you could go for um, one of our printed cotton jerseys and then go with a plain bottom. So there's so many options with using this pattern and it, yeah, like I said, it would be great if you're new to sewing with jersey fabrics. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed today's video and it's if you're new to sewing, this is giving you the kind of oomph that you need to get going behind your sewing machine and it's giving you lots of sewing inspiration as well to choose out your fabric and pattern. You can always drop us an email at teamsunshine at sewmesunshine.co.uk if you need any advice or you want to check that you've picked out the right fabric to go with the right pattern, we're always happy to help. And um, if you're more of the experience and you've been one of our long-term customers, hopefully this has given you a lot of ideas for some quick and simple, easy sews and you've enjoyed seeing lots of the fabric and pattern pairings today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know below, as always, what's your favourite pattern and fabric pick. Or maybe you can let us know below what your um, idea for um, beginner sewers, their patterns would be. It was always great to hear from you guys. Thank you, as always, for all your orders. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.